Hello, this is a Lab Tech How To session by Proval Technologies. I am Paul, a systems engineer here at Proval. Uh, today, we're going to be overviewing the process for building a group and uh, linking a search to that group uh, to populate it with the discovered agents. Um, linking a, a search to a group allows that group to be automatically populated with agents that meet the search's criteria. Uh, searches refresh automatically and will add or remove agents from groups automatically. So once it's done, it's set. Let's start by creating our search. Uh, to do that, you will click the search button at the top of the Lab Tech Control Center. And then you'll click the advanced tab. From here, you can add your search parameters. And we'll start by clicking the plus symbol to add one. Uh, today, we're going to be looking for all machines with Google Chrome installed. And we'll do that by choosing Computer, Applications, and Name. And by default, it looks uh, for a specific name. Uh, so we can type in Google Chrome and click Search. We're also able to do text as like. And you can do the parentheses symbols to search for applications that include just Google, for example. But in this example, we will be looking for just Google Chrome. Once we have our search, we'll need to save it. And we can just name it and click Save. That will cause the navigation tree to refresh. And if you expand your searches, uh, you should now see your search for agents with Google Chrome. The next step is to create a group. Uh, so we will right click on Groups within the navigation tree, click Add Group. And we'll just name this the same thing for simplicity. Once we have our group, we can open it. And there's a section at the top right, uh, Auto Join Searches. Uh, we'll be expanding the computer's drop down and selecting Agents with Google Chrome. We'll want to check Limit to Search. Uh, this will keep machines from being manually added to the group. Um, and then we can click Preview Run. This will show you all the machines within the search that will be joining the group. We can click Auto Join now, and it will take a few minutes for that group to be populated. We do have to save this group as well. Once this group populates, uh, we'll be able to do uh, kind of our standard procedures on it, where we can run commands uh, and scripts, things like a uh, script to remove Google Chrome, for example, or uh, update it. And we can single out machines that, that only have this software installed. So once we've waited a few minutes here and uh, after we have run the auto join for the group, we can run a reload system cache. This will automatically update the groups in the navigation tree. And then when we come to our group, we can expand it. And we will have all of the machines in here that met the search criteria of having Google Chrome installed. Thanks for watching our how-to video.